All right, y'all. Um, restarts coming up. Uh, can the Bucks? I mean, can the Celtics uh, challenge the Bucks for the East? Um, get up. I don't know if they're talking about long term. I haven't seen the video yet, but let's see what they're talking about. Get up, and the NBA's restart is getting nearer. And Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Bucks had the best record in the league when they went on pause, and they're still the favorites to come out of the East when play resumes. But the break might have come at a fortuitous time for Milwaukee if you look at it from this perspective. Giannis hurt his knee against the Lakers on March 6th, just a few days before, yeah, before everything shut down. And the coach, Mike Budenholzer, thinks. The time off might be a good thing for the Greek freak, saying it's a huge advantage for us. Giannis will be completely and totally healthy. Went on to say, who's to say how things would have gone if we kept on playing? I'm not sure it would be safe to say he would have missed a couple of weeks. Could it have been less? Maybe. Could it have been more? Perhaps. We could look back a bit and say, I wonder what would have happened there. And we've got Jay Williams with us ready to go here this morning. Jay will have a little technical difficulty, but now we're up and running and ready. And let's talk about that for a moment here. I, I talked about it with Jackie about a half hour ago. Giannis being having this time when they depend so much on that one player having this time off. Do you think it increases the Bucks' advantage in the Eastern Conference? I, I do for an you know an, an injury like that that is aggravating, Greeny, mostly you know for ankle injuries and things of that sort. And you know one of the things I would say about the Bucks are that you know as much as we talk about the Lakers, as much as we talk about the Clippers, that this is the most complete team in all of basketball. Now, does that say that they have the best chance to win it? No, not necessarily. Uh, they they did have major home court advantage. That's going to be interesting to see how that plays out at a neutral site. But, you know, they still have pieces like Chris Middleton. I know that people overlook Chris Middleton. They don't compare him to an Anthony Davis or to a Russell Westbrook. But this is a guy that was close to 50, 40, 90. Uh, and and it's is just, you know, sheer consistent. And their defensive principles are very well. So uh, uh, arrested Giannis in this particular situation. For yeah, a guy, man, the Bucks got a huge advantage, man, with the Giannis, man. That can attract so much attention, that utilizes that strength to get to the rim at will. Uh, the fact that he's healthy is a major advantage for a team and rested uh, for a guy that's going to win two-time MVP. I agree. I, I, in my The way I look at it, this benefits the Bucks one way or the other. But yes. if I were to tell you right now, that they're not going to be the team that comes out of the Eastern Conference. If we look at last year's champion, the Raptors, we look at the Celtics, who are loaded and deep, and we look at the Sixers, who've been somewhat enigmatic, but they should have a healthy Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Which of those three would you put your money on as the team that winds up coming out of the East if it isn't the Bucks? Well, you know, I'm always going against you here on this one. I'm still going to go with the Bucks, but it, that team that's going to go against the Bucks, I, I would have to go with your pick, the Boston Celtics. I mean, when you have... Gordon Hayward, who's going to be healthy. Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, three long wings. Uh, when you have Jason Tatum that was playing at an MVP caliber type level before the season ended, you add that to Jalen Brown, who secured his bag. He's playing at a very high level defensively. He's a big time wing, too, that can lock down defenders. And then you combine that with Kimba Walker, four guys that can all average over 20 points. Marcus Smart defensively, he's there. The only the only void for the Boston Celtics is having that size in the middle. Yeah, I just don't trust cancer. They still have Horford. I probably picked the uh, Celtics to win the championship. Oh, uh, in his cancer, Robert Williams, if he's healthy, you know, do they have that to combat that against Milwaukee? But if they get hot from the outside, Greeny, this is a team that can catch fire and a team that can find themselves in the world championships of the NBA Finals. No, no question about it. And then we look over at the other side and we talk all the time about the L.A. teams. It's the Clippers and the Lakers. If there's another team that's in the mix in your mind in the West, who is it? It's the Houston Rockets. Greeny. All right, we've had a pandemic. We, I agree about the Rockets, man. I think they got a huge advantage in the West. We, we've seen Russell Westbrook and these guys at protests. But if there, if there are people that you are counting on to stay focused, and to stay in shape. Would that not be Russell Westbrook? 1,000%. When you're hearing reports that James Harden has lost 20 pounds, and I heard people try to use the opposite side of this equation, well, will that hurt him down the stretch because he won't have that same size to barrel through defenders? Actually, I make the opposite case that maybe down the stretch over the last couple of years, be tired. you've seen James Harden get tired. You've seen him get fatigued. Yes, sir. Jason Williams, I'm like, he be knowing what he's talking about, man. Him losing 20 pounds will help down the stretch for a guy that is one of the biggest innovators in basketball. You combine that with the liking and thinking of Daryl Morey and how he's composed this team. I like this strategy. I like the fact that we're going to be playing at neutral sites 
And if you're already questioning the Lakers and you know, what happens to Avery Bradley, do you get J.R. Smith? If you're questioning the health, ultimately, of the Clippers and, you know, playing this condensed amount of games and that amount of time, could those injuries come back up and show their teeth? And even Denver, Jokic, and issues with COVID, I like this style and I like the fast-paced play that the Houston Rockets can have. They're a team that can find themselves in a situation to win the whole damn thing. Now, I, I, I actually like that pick and i'm very interested to see how they come out playing and then i want to ask you about the youngest superstar in the sport and that of course is zion williamson who's remained in new orleans throughout this league hiatus the number one overall pick has been regularly reporting to the pelicans practice facility because he's one of several players who were granted exceptions by the nba to allow them to rehab injuries under the supervision of team trainers okay i don't know about that but yeah that's it man uh, the Celtics got a good chance, but we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be an odd season, but it counts. So, all right, y'all. Peace.